Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be answering the question, does the Joyo King of Kings suck? Let's get it. If you're new around here, then you probably think I'm crazy for doing a video like this, but it's actually part of a ongoing series called Cheap Pedal Suck. The most requested pedal for me to try out in this series is the Joyo King of Kings. So I asked Joyo if they'd be willing to send this pedal over to be featured in this series, and they did. Everything from the packaging down right to the pedal itself is just really top notch, and you would never know that this pedal falls under the $100 mark. And that's really the only requirement in order for a pedal to be featured within this series is that it has to be under $100. And this falls well under $100. Brand new, you can get it for $69.99 at 70 bucks US. Might I remind you, this is a two-in-one overdrive style pedal. So you're getting a whole lot for your money with this one. Before I officially start showing you tones, let me tell you a little bit about this pedal. You have an A side and a B side, and they pretty much have the same functionality in terms of volume, gain, and tone knob. They also each have a diode clipping switch and a feedback circuit clipping switch. You can operate the A and B side individually. You can also have them both on at the same time. Enough talking about this pedal. Let's finally dive into this thing and hear what it sounds like. So for today's video, I'm gonna be using my trusty Fano SP6 with Mr. Fabulous Mini Humbucker pickups in it. And this is my clean tone. <laughs> Let's dive right into this pedal. I'm gonna leave everything at 12 o'clock, the gain, the volume, and the tone. I'm also gonna leave both clipping switches, so clipping one and clipping two, on the down position. So let's hear what that sounds like. I'm gonna bring the volume up a little bit just to kind of match my normal volume here. So this is the pedal off, pedal on. I'm gonna put the tone knob at about two o'clock. It feels like that's the sweet spot. I'm gonna bring the gain all the way down. Nine o'clock. Twelve. Three o'clock. And all the way. Now we're gonna mess with the clipping options. Clipping number one is actually messing with the diode, so I wanna mess with that. This is what it sounds like as we've already had it, which was in the down position. Now we're gonna bring it in the up position. I'm gonna bring the gain up to uh, three o'clock and go to my bridge pickup. Let's bring the clipping back down to compare it really quickly. Now let's mess with the feedback circuit. I'm gonna leave that first switch in the down position. We're gonna bring the clipping switch in the up position now. And now let's bring the first clip into the up position as well. Now let's bring them both back down.
Alright, so now let's move on to side B. Everything's at 12 o'clock. Yeah, so I would assume this is more like the boosty side or just the more cleaner side. I want to push the volume. I'm sure if I push the gain, it will also boost the volume a little bit, but let's just mess with the volume for right now. And let's bring it to three o'clock. There it is. Let's turn it off. Now back on. Very nice. Now let's bring the tone all the way down. Tone at 9 o'clock. Back to 12 o'clock. Three o'clock. And all the way. I'm going to bring the tone pretty much identical to where I had side A, which is bringing it down to about two o'clock. Let's see what that quickly sounds like. All right, let's start messing with the gain. We're going to bring the gain all the way down. Let's bring the gain up to about nine o'clock. Back to 12 o'clock. Up to three o'clock. All the way. Bridge position. Let's bring the gain down to about two o'clock, just like we did the last time. Let's start messing with those clipping options again. Here's clip one in the down position as we already have it. Let me just remind you of what it sounds like. Now let's bring it in the up position. Back down. And up again. Feels tighter. Um, let's leave it up and go to the second switch and bring that up now. Let's go back to the first switch. We're going to leave the second switch up and put the first switch down. Stick with me. <laughs> now we're going to bring both switches back down again. leaving it exactly how I have set, which is volume at my best of unity. So I have the B section volume at about three o'clock, the A side volume at about two o'clock. We have tone on both sides at around two o'clock. I have gain on the B side at two o'clock and then gain on the A side at three o'clock. So let's compare the tones. Here's my clean once again. Now the A side. The B side. And now let's hear them both on together. Let's bring the gain down on the A side a little bit. I want to bring it down to about one o'clock just because I, I like less gain on my overdrive sometimes. So let's hear the A side by itself. And 
now let's turn the B side on. I'm going to add a little more gain. I'm going to bring that gain on the A side to about almost 2 o'clock, matching the gain on the B side. Here's both of them on. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a J. Cruz review if I didn't add some ambience to this thing. So I'm going to add some reverbs and delays. I'm going to use the B section of this pedal because I think that, again, uh, right now sitting with it, that's the sound I would put as my first stage on this pedal. So that's just a little bit of saturation. I'm going to add reverbs and delays so we can see what kind of ambience we can get for my sort of everyday tone. <laughs> Now it's time to answer the hard hitting question. Does this pedal suck? You guys already know, I am not showcasing bad pedals in this series. I think these affordable pedals need to be highlighted. This pedal 110% does not suck. In fact, it's probably one of the better overdrives I've tried in a long time. There's a lot of versatility in there and certainly I could easily, easily put this on the pedal board today and go gig with it tonight and have no problems and not feel like I was cheaping out or missing other overdrives in any kind of way. I can get a lot of great tones and variations in tones. I would highly recommend that you pick one of these up and try it out for yourself. Once again, I wanna thank Joyo for sponsoring this video. It takes a lot of guts to send over a pedal to be featured in a series that is called Cheap Pedals Suck. They get the heart of it, but it still speaks volumes about the kind of company that they are to take that risk and ultimately say, hey, we trust this product is good enough and we really believe that you will not think it sucks and you would think it actually is good. And they were right. If you're interested in this pedal, I've put an affiliate link in the description box below. Check it out. While you're down there, also leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this pedal, how you would use it, and maybe even offer up some of the settings that you would use or that you do use, especially if you actually own this pedal. Uh, giving us those exact settings help us as a community to grow as guitar. While you're there, please do all the things that help this channel grow. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Feel free to check out some of the other affiliate links in the description box below as well. And now you can even donate directly to the channel by clicking on the thanks option that YouTube offers below on this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next week.